Hello everybody, in this video I would like to show how it is possible to create an animation using Rhinoceros 6 and to later compile it as a video format such as mp4 so that it is viewable using an external player such as the VLC media player. Okay, let's start. As you can see, I have already opened up the VLC media player and this is the animation that was created from this uh, Rhino file. In this video demo, I will be showing the generic workflow of crafting an animation and then uh, creating a web browser version of it and then uh, proceed to show how it is possible to recompile the individual frames as a video format such as mp4 so that it is uh, viewable using external media players okay let's start Okay, this is the scene that we want to create animation from and we want to do it from the perspective view so make sure that your perspective view is uh, being highlighted the first thing you want to do is to set the dimension for the animation to do that click on the object properties go to the view tab and set the width and height to our resolution and dimension which is uh, 800 by 600 okay 800 by 600 enter okay so this is the dimension and then you might also want to turn on the safe frame for a better estimation of the of the angles and the and the framing okay one that is done um, we can proceed to craft our animation. To do that, you might want to open up the render tools, the animation tools. Okay, so let's open up this and we have the animation setup toolbar being shown. As of this video, we have uh, four types of animations that is uh, creatable using Rhino, namely the sun study, fly through animation, path animation, and the turntable. As this is going to be only a generic uh, workflow demo, I'm not going to go through all of them. Instead, I will use the turntable animation to illustrate the, uh, the process. So, uh, let's click on this. And this will open up this uh, window for us to do our setting. So, I'm going to set the number of frames to 150, the direction to clockwise, and the file, file type that means this is the file format for the individual renders so i want to set it to jpeg okay then your view the viewport is where the animation will be created from so in our case the perspective and very importantly the capture method needs to be determined okay basically the capture method determines the rendering mode of your animation so you have things like shaded, render view port, and wireframe. This all, this all corresponds to the view viewport display modes. Okay, if you want the most realistic uh, render, you might have to select the render full. So in this case, I want to select the render full. And as of this right, I think I think um, the closest um, preview to render full on the viewport is the ray trace mode okay so later i will set this to ray trace mode okay so once uh these are uh, settings are being done you want to click the okay and let's uh set this to the ray trace mode okay so ray trace mode uh, as of this uh video recording uh most most uh closely corresponds to the final uh, ray trace full uh result okay so okay once it's done the next thing you want to do is to do a preview to do that press and hold this 
button and pull out the animation preview so this is the animation preview button so let's click on this and get a preview so once you're done with the setting of the animation and you're satisfied with the overall view mm, you can proceed to do a recording of the animation that means the recording will actually start to create the animation so so to speak okay to do that click on this uh, button the, the record animation button okay I think before we, we go into that um, I'm I think uh, I need to also uh, specify how we can tweak the setting for the final render okay so uh, to tweak the setting you can go to this icon but right click to toggle the render setting okay so you open up the the uh, re rendering setup window where you can set the settings for your final render so important as uh, criteria will be like the quality like just how good you want the final render to be so um, yeah these are the ones that has been a uh, preset so you have to also bear in mind that the better the quality the slower the render will be so uh, in our case I just set it to a draft uh, quality okay so I'm not going to click render so basically this is where I set the, the settings uh, for the fi final frame renders okay so let's close this and then you can proceed to do the creation of the individual frames okay to do that uh, click on this record animation this will show us this um, statement at the prompt okay say press enter to start recording you might want to set the target folder the target folder is where the individual frames and the uh, HTML that will be showing the animation will, will be created in okay so I'm going to click on this and set it to the folder where these files will be created and saved onto okay so once you're done with this you can click okay okay and when you're done you can proceed to press the enter to start the animation okay it will normally take a while for the animations uh, to commence and run through the whole process okay assuming that all the frames have been created and the html has been created let's proceed to look at the results okay so as you can see here is the folder where all the animations has been uh, frames has been created so we have all these individual frames Okay, and in addition to that, we have this animation.html file. Okay, this file is the one that will allow the animation to be viewed. So uh, let's uh, double click this. Okay, as you can see, it opens up a uh, web browser and we are able to see the animation. At the bottom, of the browser you have the controls for the uh, preview or the end for the viewing of the animation you have the start the stop and the other controls okay okay as of this recording this is the furthest that Rhino can go in terms of the creation of an animation however if you desire to create an animation that is uh, viewable outside of the browser you will have to create um, a video for format that is uh, viewable using a media player okay such as a uh, mp4 okay, uh, mp4 format so for the next part of this video I'll be showing you how we can compile the individual frames of the animation renders into an mp4 file okay
in order to be able to do that we need to install these two program namely Krita which you can download from this website krita.org and also uh, ffmpeg which you can download from ffmpeg.org so you need to install these two programs okay I already done that so uh, let's proceed to open up Krita okay. so I have Krita here and here is where we will compile the individual frames into a mp4 video okay to do that go to file new to create a new document that corresponds to the dimension of the individual frames that we have uh, created that means uh, the width and height in our case is 800 by 600 and the resolution let's set it to 72 okay and then click create okay so this will be the basic uh, image size okay now the next thing you need to do is to import the individual frames to do that go to file import animation frames click on the add images and then select all the individual jpeg frames that constitute the animation so you might want to press and hold the shift key to select all the frames that will be used to compile into a mp4 okay then click open and you might want to also look at what is the fps setting that that is desirable for you so I want to stay as R24 then I click the OK this will enable the importing of the frames to commence so okay assuming that uh, we have all the frames being imported in okay the next thing we need to do is to save them as a compiled mp4 okay to do that go to file render animation okay and then very importantly we need to point to the location where the ffmpeg.exe is being located so I've already done that if you're not done that you might want to click on this icon here and then browse to the location of your ffmpeg.exe and then uh, point 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 to that location okay okay next thing I want to do is to set the, the format so we want to use the mpeg4 and then the, the location so uh, the file will be saved as a mp4 okay it will be saved as a mp4 so once you're done with the overall setup you can click the ok okay i'm not going to do that because i already done this so uh, what you get eventually is in my case is uh, this um, file a uh, mp4 file okay as you can see um the quality is not that bad even the fact that I've only used the draft quality for the individual frame renders. Okay. I think I come to the end of this uh, demo. Hope that being useful to you. See you around. Bye.